Hi, welcome to Darts Planet TV. Yet again, privileged to have Leighton come round. It's been a couple of weeks, you've reflected on Norwich. What's your feelings on your first competitive nine data and then the tournament win? Oh, it's brilliant. I see it all over social media. And that's amazing to be fair. I never expected to win it that day, and especially to do the first one on live stream. It's brilliant now, I've got it on video. It was massive on social media, wasn't it? And it made national news. I see it in the Daily Star, it was, all, it was across, it was everywhere. Yeah. Yeah, no, I was really pleased. It was like, First time I'd seen the nine data that close up. Yeah, it was awesome. First one I've seen. It <laughs> Obviously, taking on taking that form into the following day, you won the uh, England Grand Prix, and then on to the JDC where you ranked number one. Has the JDC helped you grow as a player? Yeah, yeah, yeah. JDC is brilliant for the youth now, and it's, it's helping a lot for us now. It's, it's helped my game no end because you're playing the best youth around England. Even some from the Netherlands and that have come over. It's just really good how to do it, especially on the darts connect so everyone can watch it. Yeah, yeah, that's no, it's brilliant. And it's obviously streamed on YouTube as well. Yeah, and yeah. Everyone watches it. Talking of rankings, this week the BDO men's update table released after the Lincolnshire Open. The race is well and truly on for the men's world championships. You're currently sitting in a qualifying spot for the men's world championships. I bet you're really proud of that. Uh, yeah, I'm over the moon to be fair. I couldn't help for a better sponsor really because they've helped me go to all these places and that. And they're making me go all round and it's helping me. I've got Celtic next weekend, so hopefully more points there. Yeah. If I do well there, it could probably push me up higher up. Well, you mentioned Celtic, and there's plenty more events still to play. Mm. And you're sitting so well in the table early in the season. Is that your main goal this year to qualify for the men's worlds? Yeah, yeah. It'll be the dream come true to play there. If I win it as well, that'd, that'd be amazing. Yeah, yeah, no, it'd be awesome, mate. You've got a big exhibition coming up this week in Germany the SA, the SAP Frankfurt Dart Slam. And it's being billed as Battle of the Champions. Uh, a few of the players there, MVG, Gary Anderson, Barney, Phil Taylor, Rob Cross, Peter Wright, and obviously the World uh, Ladies Championship uh, champion, Suzuki. And obviously yourself, what a lineup that is. Yeah. I bet you're looking forward to it. Uh, it would be amazing, and especially in a brilliant country like Germany. It's amazing for darts over there. Do you know you're playing yet? Uh, no, not yet. Uh, it's all live drawn on the night. Yeah, oh, is so it? Is it, being, is it being streamed? Uh, maybe. Maybe. I'm not sure yet. Cool. How does it How does it make you feel playing the, applying your trade against the world's elite? Oh, it's amazing. I, I get a buzz myself, and to know them players as well now, it's, it takes a lot of pressure off me now, and it helps me for, for when I'm playing in these comps and that. And they're all giving you lots of tips and so, yeah, yeah. bits of experience from themselves. Yeah. Oh, awesome, mate. Well, I look forward to watching it.